Hi, I'm back again. Today I am going to get out my deluxe camp kitchen from Cabela's. I bought it a couple weeks ago. I've already opened it up once and kind of set up, set it up and played with it a little bit. But today I thought I would show you guys what came with the deluxe camp kitchen. Now I usually just use a um, table and put all my stuff on the table. I put my camp stove, my grill, all on a, on a folding table that I keep in my tack room of my trailer. It's easy. I pull it out, just prop it up. But I love my gadgets. I love my camping gadgets. And I saw this on um, the web. I saw it on YouTube and I thought, wow, I, I kind of like it. There are a ton of camping kitchens out there. You really need to do research and see what it is that you like and what would work for you. The things that I liked about this particular one is that it came uh, with a carrying case and it came completely assembled. So I didn't have to do anything. Pulled it out of the box and it was ready to roll. So let's take a look at it. Here it is in its bag in all its glory. They say it only weighs 39 pounds. It feels like it weighs a lot more but that's probably because I'm short and it's awkward. Uh, it the bag is very well made it has nice straps it's got a good zipper on it that comes all the way down on the side which I like because when I put it all back together of course it doesn't all come back together nicely we all know how that goes but there's enough extra room so that you can cram it all back in there again so let me unzip it here And this is exactly how it came out of the box. I just pulled it straight out of the box. It was already in its, its bag and um, put together nicely like this. And it's kind of cool because it's got these little hooks, keeps it all together. It's kind of accordion-like and pulls out this here. Uh, this, of course, since I've already taken them out, this is the... Um, the pole that holds the light up. It has a little light pole. That was one of the reasons I bought it because I thought that was really cool. I can hang my lantern while I'm cooking and I don't have to use up any of my space to put my lantern on the table. And this is the grill that goes, oh, what did I do? Oh, this is the bag. This. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use this. I'll probably use this, but they say it's a food storage bag that hangs underneath. I think uh, with the bears and stuff, no. But it has other uses. And then this is a grate that you can uh, store things underneath the kitchen with. So I am going to start setting it up. I'm going to turn this off and then set it up on the tripod so that we can see a little bit better, a little bit better angle. Okay, I have it on the tripod, so let's put this thing together. I found it was the easiest way to put it together was to do it on its side. Some people put it together on the lay flat this and put it together for me because I'm so short it was easier to do it this way so I have to unhook a few things and it's kind of like a puzzle putting it all together but you pretty soon you figure it all out I think I keep this down if I remember correctly bring that out everything kind of snaps together really nicely which I like These are the legs, one side, this one out here, take this one out, oh this goes out here. Hold 
the legs out. I don't know if you can still see the legs here. Stabilize it. This is the light hanger. Okay, so let's switch this over to close-up mode. Here's the top of the kitchen, and you have your little openers here. Let me lift it up. And... braces down, put the braces down. This kind of lamp thing kind of balances on it, but it doesn't bother me too much. I really like this feature here. This is one of the reasons I got this is because of the back part of it. A lot of the camp kitchens, not a lot of them, but some of them are just the, the top, the surface area. But I, I like the little gadgets here. I like the little kitchen. I like the little hooks. You can hook things up. This is a screen that protects you from what's cooking over here on this side. And you have a sink 
I don't know how much I'm going to use the sink. I mean, it'll be good to put water in and soak some things, maybe. Um, they do have like a cutout in the middle that you could cut out and maybe make a drain with it. I won't do that. It's too complicated for me. I like it simple. This is a towel holder for the end here. Just hook it on and get yourself a little towel hanger. It's almost like playing, playing in a playhouse. You got your own little kitchen here. <laughs> I think that's what appeals to me. And then you have a little towel rack here. Now they sell this as being food storage. I wouldn't put food out here in the, especially when you're camping with bears. You'd, that thing would be torn off in no second, in no time at all and uh, maybe the raccoons would get in there. But it's sturdy, so I will probably store maybe pots and pans in here, maybe coffee mugs in here for coffee in the morning. I don't know, we'll see, but I like it. And then there is this shelf underneath that has more storage. I brought out my grill that I have, my little portable grill. And, ooh, honestly, it's not that heavy, it's just awkward. Now, the grill is supposed to go where these grates are, just for safety reasons. Um, I have feet on this, so the feet are gonna go through the the holes so I can't use it on that side but I'll use it on this side and I'll use my two burner Coleman stove over here I have I hook up both of these to the big 20 pound propane tanks so I don't use the little bottles so that isn't going to be an issue with it being really tight here I'll just have to watch the heat factor I, since I put it on a plastic fold-away table, and it hasn't bothered my plastic fold-away table from underneath, I think I'll be okay leaving it on that surface and not have any problems. If I do have a problem, I could probably make it work over here as well, but I don't think I will. It's designed not to damage any surfaces, so I think I'll be okay. But I'm pretty excited about this. I don't have my camp light to hang on there but um, it, it'll be nice, it's pretty sturdy. So, and it folds down like that, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. Does this little, that, but anyway, I'm excited about it. I will show you guys next time in a video of everything set up on my campground and how it all looks, how it all comes out of my trailer this will be a good addition to my camping experience. I like the fact that it folds up and goes into that bag and I can carry it and I can store it easily. That was my biggest appeal for this particular kitchen. So when you're looking at different kitchens, find out what you think would appeal to you, what you would use most and what you would like, and then make your choice from there. But I think this is gonna be a neat addition to my camping experience. If you like this video, of course, please subscribe and thank you for listening.